Bunch of Crush Army, where you at? Your motivation guy. Yeah, that's right. I am back. Okay, so have you guys been enjoying long gaming sessions in Season 7? Only to notice that there are certain things in the game that are just absolutely mood killers that just make you want to stop playing. Hey, let me tell you this. You're not alone because while Season 7 may be one of the most enjoyable seasons of Chapter 2, today we're going to go over some of the biggest changes that we need to see that would make this season so much more fun. Are you guys ready for this? Let's get this going. Okay, so something that this season really needs, perhaps more than any other season before, for it is a lot of map changes as the season progresses. You know, leaks have basically already confirmed that Tilted Towers may be returning to the game, which was also backed up by Epic themselves, teasing it in the Season 7 trailer. So by bringing back OG points of interest, you know, the season would just end up being very fun to play, while also bringing back a lot of players who want to experience that classic Chapter 1 nostalgia. You know, even if all the classic POIs we love to see did come back, you know, we wouldn't just want to see them exactly as they were back then. You know, they would need to be tweaked in ways that would fit in with the current season with further changes to heighten their balance. Okay, guys, so just imagine with me for a moment, all right? Like how awesome the game would be with a fully fledged snow biome rather than just a couple of mountains way off at the edge of the map. Imagine the incredible hype around the desert biome making a return alongside Paradise Palms. We could actually split the map up into areas that fit each player perfectly instead of the map just looking kind of the same no matter where you go. So the game would be much more fun with these additions and would allow players to enjoy a much higher level of diversity around the map instead of everything just looking nice and green. You know, whether Epic decides to bring older locations like Tilted Towers back or if they bring in completely new locations, the fact remains that there definitely has to be some new major map changes over the course of the season. You know, the Season 7 update introduced basically no changes to the map, with the only major change happening to the center of the island once again. You know, areas like Steamy Stacks and Coral Castle have been touched since they were first added to the game, and honestly, it's about time that the Chapter 2 map saw some major adjustments. Alright, let me say this. If you guys want to get up to the speed with all the changes to the game this season, you have to head on over to ProGuides.com and hire a pro coach. Our coaches, guys, will play alongside you in your games to help you guys improve fast by giving you in-depth one-on-one -on -one feedback on everything that you need to do better. You know, Fortnite at its heart is a game where players are at the mercy of RNG. You know, even the best players in the world can just drop down into a location and get terrible chest loot, or in some cases, no loot at all. You know, a way to cut back on this RNG and add more skill into the game is by reintroducing the 100% chest spawn rate. Okay, so we haven't had, you know, 100% chest spawn rate in the game for like a while, and pretty much every new update has players just clamoring for the spawn rate of chests to be increased back to their previous levels. Alongside 100% spawn rate for chests, having bigger POIs would also be a pretty interesting move. You know, by adding bigger POIs and then also, you know, always having a weapon off spawn, players would be able to just more easily contest others in skill-based fights. This would also change tournaments really as well. You know, players would be able to split their POIs and actually be consistent with the loot that they get, unlike, you know, how things currently are. You know, in the past three seasons, winning a tournament has been an all about how consistent you are off spawn. And so if you were being contested, it was basically a one-way ticket to saying goodbye to your chances of getting into the top five. You know, being contested ruins a good trio's chances of placing well in the grand finals and increases the feeling of frustration at the game from anybody in that situation. And so by just adding 100% chest spawn rates and making the map seem bigger by lowering the dead space between POIs, which you can do by just increasing existing POI sizes or just adding new bigger POIs into the map, you're going to end up cutting down on that frustration a lot. You know, it's definitely going to lead to a lot more balance and just really making it more fun. All right, so we've mentioned it a quite few times, you know, but we're going to just mention it again because of how important we think it is. Something that we really know can benefit the player base of Fortnite competitive scene is adding more incentives to the arena mode. You know, these days, arena is something, you know, most players don't really even care about anymore. It's either people like who are just trying to grind up to be eligible for tournaments or for players that just want a W key and just have a quick fight, you know, rather than just actually enjoying the game and just caring about the win. Right now in arena, there's no motivation to actually play for the end game. And when you make it up to champions divisions and qualify for tournaments, the actual arena points you earn are basically just worthless. So many other games such as like League of Legends, CSGO, and even other Battle Royale games like Apex Legends have a much bigger set of incentives for people to play the mode and because of those incentives, much more people end up actually playing in the competitive ladders. And so in other games, you're going to receive cosmetics, you know, either on your profile like the banners of League or in the form of exclusive character skins and drop trails like in Apex Legends. 
You know, these exclusive cosmetics allow you to distinguish yourself from other players, allowing you to have bragging rights and a sense of accomplishment for what you've managed to attain. In Fortnite, if you're one of the top 10 players on the arena leaderboards, you won't receive anything for your trouble that will make you truly unique. Because of this, players who aren't streaming or making content have absolutely no reason to grind on arena after they hit champs, which is why the quality of the main competitive mode in Fortnite kind of just feels like any normal pub game. So to fix the quality issues in our arena games, we really do need small incentives that will get people coming back time and time again. Whether it be something drastic like rewarding people who score a victory royale in the higher ranks with small 5 V-Bucks rewards or just cosmetics like skins and banners for ranking in champs. We just need something eye-catching to really bulk up the numbers of players and so, you know, like people can just take things a little bit more seriously. And so by making small changes like this, every arena game will just end up feeling so much more stacked and who knows, man, they might even start feeling like an actual scrim match. Okay, so at the moment, many players rely on third-party Discord servers to really find their intent 50-player in-games. This shows that, you know, there's a major gap in the market, one that Arena should be filling, but simply isn't at the moment. Without adding any incentives for people to actually climb and just keep on playing Arena, will just stagnate in its current WK-centric form and will forever be less enjoyable to the players out there who actually want to keep playing the game to improve and really learn from their mistakes. Sure, like maybe asking for free V-Bucks is a little much, but exclusive cosmetics and banners that you can like just boast about are an easy fix that Epic could definitely implement with very little trouble at all. And so imagine getting a special arena skin just like the special FNCS skin Epic had for people in the grand finals of the FNCS last season just for being in the highest division. Like it would bring so much hype for playing arena that would be honestly game changing. All right, bunch of questions on me. It's time for the question of the day. Okay, so what is one thing that you would change in the current loot pool right now? Let us know in the comments down below because we're definitely going to check it out. All right, back to the video. So a huge thing that Fortnite still needs that every other competitive game has is the ability to have a custom FOV and a custom crosshair. These two things would help players finally fix the problems they have with the default interface and with the help of the game developers, it could even be available on all platforms. So the main reason stretch resolution was removed like was mostly because of the quality and how PC had a bigger advantage when compared to the other platforms. But by making a FOV slider feature in game, any player on any device will be able to have much better awareness and overall accessibility. Fortnite tournaments are also viewed with the replay system, so having a stretch resolution would have no impact on the quality outside of a player's private stream. By having a custom crosshair feature, any player would instantly be able to improve their aim and discipline themselves when it comes to bloom management. These features would really optimize the way Fortnite is played in Season 7. A huge problem that is ruining many players' days while playing Fortnite is getting a headshot snipe. While using a sniper does take a fair bit of skill at longer ranges, lucky headshots do happen and it definitely will ruin any player's game no matter how skilled they are. So from going to a full goal loadout, you know, 8 kills and lots of potential to having a big game, to getting headshot sniped and being back in the lobby, is maybe like Fortnite's biggest current problem. You know, no battle royale should have a weapon that will end your game in an instant, right? Especially one that can be used by a third party from 200 like plus meters away with no control over it. In the current season, one of the best ways to nerf snipers would be to reduce the headshot damage of blue and purple snipers to 185 and 190 respectively, or even just by adding a sniper shield. On the one hand, having it so only the gold sniper can do 200 damage would make it much harder to get headshot sniped and would make the rarity of snipers just much more important. On the other hand, it would diminish the value of snipers overall and would ruin the satisfaction we've had from the bolt action from the beginning. So a way to keep the current headshot damage of the snipers and just making them fairer might be to add some kind of a sniper shield. This could either be like an extra shield that you would receive for snipers by just drinking it or an extra inventory item with the limited amount of charges. Either way, like this change will go a long way to making Season 7 a lot more enjoyable. All right, guys, so those are all the changes that we think Epic should make to Season 7 of Fortnite. You know, this season is already like a lot better than Season 6, and it feels like the game has become just much more competitive as a result. You know, we can't wait to see how the game evolves over the coming weeks. I hope you guys are ready as well. Hey, if you guys liked the video, make sure you sub to the channel and connect to me on my Instagram at Your Motivation Guy. You know, I'm, I believe in you. I am your number one fan, and that is the truth. That's never going to change. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.